for the head we start with a separate object cube in the edit mode subdivide it two times select all points with A and press shift S and move your mouse away this will turn it into a sphere place the mesh to match the image pull these vertices to bring out the shape of the head right now the deformation is not smooth so press O to enable soft selection move the mouse scroll to increase or decrease the range of the effect tweak the points a bit to bring out the shape of the head from side view as well Now we scale and tweak the points in the front view. For the neck, in the side view, select these bottom vertices, extrude them and scale down. And then extrude further to bring out the neck. Don't forget to save the file. Now select all vertices left to the center line and press delete. We will add the mirror modifier to the head. Press this small button to see the vertices of the mirrored part and turn do clipping on. What do clipping does is that the center points don't move. You can see the difference by turning off do clipping and moving all the points. So let's turn back to clipping on add an edge loop with control R smooth out the top points Here will be the eye socket. Add a loop cut. This will be the top margin or the limit for the eye socket. Pull this loop down. This will be running across the eye level. With face select mode, select these faces and extrude them, scale them down. Tweak the vertices to give a nice shape.
though the eyes will be painted and will be the part of texture, still we'll mark out the edge loops for eyes and mouth for our marking and practice. After tweaking the point, select all and press W and then click on smooth a couple of times. Select these four faces and press E to extrude them. Left click and then scale them down. Now tweak the vertices in and around the loop giving, the, giving a smooth round circular shape. Hit W and press smooth a couple of times. In the object mode, use the sculpt tool to give a nice shape to the head. You can use inflate, grab, and smooth brush to bring out the shape.
Now select these faces and extrude once and scale it down sideways to bring out the nose. Adjust the points. Delete these points, select the edge loop and extrude it twice. This will be the mouth. Fill it as the lips will be painted on top. Press set smooth button. Select the eye area and the nose. pull them down a bit to match the reference. I have turned on the proportional editing with the O key. Also adjust the chin a bit, making it sharp. Save the file.
check for any unusual depression or bumps or a sharpness around the contour of the head Now we will join the head to the body. Position the head over the body. Delete the center vertex. Give the neck a nice roundness. Select both mesh and press Ctrl J to join both of them. Now we see that both edge loops have same number of vertices that is 8. So it will be a perfect match. We can either join vertices together with all time one by one or we can select two edges and press F to make face between them. Delete the loop in between and tweak the points and finally save the file. and finally save the file.